So this is a standard 5.6K pendant sprinkler with 60 pounds residual pressure. You want to know how easy it is to break something like this. Not hard at all. This will be a 5.6K vertical sidewall mounted in the pendant position. So you can see out here, not wouldn't really do enough good for a fire, but we're getting a little water mess probably out, I'd say past 16 feet or so. But our actual spray pattern is more, I'd say our effective spray pattern is close to eight feet in that area, as you can see. What happens if you put a vertical sidewall in the wrong position? Or it's a horizontal sidewall in the wrong position. Go ahead. <laughs> so, it's not doing much good when it's in the wrong position. We're gonna put a horizontal sidewall in the way it's supposed to be. And we're gonna see if people are paying attention here. Okay, let's go ahead. Hit it. <laughs> All right, so we can see it's much more effective out here. And you're actually getting fairly good water droplets out to somewhere in the neighborhood of 14 feet, I'd say. And you see it's not really squirting to the side. Go ahead and open it wide open again. It's not really going to the side more than around six feet, looks like. Also, it sprays up slightly, so it's kind of soaking the wall a little bit above it over here. Now, of those three heads, we probably used close to 200 gallons of water, maybe 150 or so. So here's a standard 5.6K upright sprinkler. With about 60 pounds residual. 55 pounds. So we can see it's You know, out to about four feet, six feet, right here. And as you go further down the ground, so there's your seven foot six, and you can see where the water's hitting. So it won't spray much more than what we say in the code book. This is an old style sprinkler head. So they can be mounted upright or pendant. So in the pendant position, 60% goes up, 40% down. So we'll do it first like this. Look at the difference in the spray pattern. Go ahead. All right. So you'll see a lot of water right directly underneath the head here, out to about, I don't know. So we got about six feet, something like that, right in this area. And then not as much over here. And you can see how it's spraying straight up. This is an old style sprinkler head in the up position. We'll put these under docks and things like that. Watch how much it shoots out the top. Go ahead. All right. So you see the difference. This would wet the ceiling of a dock keep the boards from catching on fire. Hopefully if they had like a fuel spill over water. And then there again, we're going out somewhere in the neighborhood of six or seven feet. It's your sideways angle. You kind of see a little bit of your obstruction pattern. And then if I get directly perpendicular to the frame arm, totally different spray pattern and that's why we line the frame arms up with the pipes to this day all right so this is just a straight half inch outlet we're shooting about 40 feet in the air and that's a residual pressure of about 45 pounds all right he's going to simulate pulling out a horizontal sidewall here where we have about 66 pounds of pressure now he's putting his oops valve in there. Oh my God. Let's go away. He's got about 40 pounds of soap pressure. Yeah. And 
I'm 20 feet away getting wet. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to do a pivot head. Price is about 74 right now. going to try to put a half inch ball out there. Put that right there, and then you're pushing up hard, and then you're coming in, and then you're still pushing up hard, and then you start to spin to get it started. You just go do it. put one of these old style concealers in the wrong way. Go ahead and start it. They don't work right. All right, what if you had a whip that was unsecured? So we have the glass bulb out of it. All right, go ahead. Surprisingly, it didn't move around. Horizontal sidewall. Okay. Okay. So we can see that there's a little bit of thrust on that. Okay, go ahead and shut it off. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, hey. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope that helps somebody. Uh, give me some ideas in the comments or something like that. Maybe we can come up with some other stuff. Anyway, y'all have a good evening and, uh, you know, keep on sprinkler fitting. <laughs>